Get out. So awesome. Guys, this place is amazing. It's like the most castle-y type place I've ever been to. It's so beautiful. And like the lighting is bad right now. You can't see it, but it's amazing. You gotta see it in person. It's the best thing I've seen, I think, in Sevilla. Feels like I'm in the jungle. Never been to the jungle. <laughs> but all of these birds and these fruit trees behind me. I like this park so much. It's so big and it's like in the middle of the city but you don't really hear the traffic so it's really nice and peaceful. It's huge. Um, so it's taken me a bit longer to fall in love with Spain the way I did with Portugal <laughs> um, but I'm getting there especially after seeing that one like castle like place I was like oh my god it's so beautiful <laughs> so anyway I'm excited to see what Granada has to offer and uh, I'm gonna show you guys I guess my trip to Granada now I have about 25 minutes Ooh. 22 minutes to power walk back to the bus station so hopefully I make it and last time I checked I walked about I've walked about 
15 kilometers so far so maybe now by the time I get over there I don't know it'll be 20 oh yeah I'm getting my exercise in one way or another I made it with two minutes to spare. I had to run, well actually jog, and then stop, walk for a bit, and then keep running all the way over here. But I made it, I have to get my stuff out the locker, and meet my driver. But anyway, um, so I arrived in Granada, um, I guess, I don't know, an hour ago or so. I had the nicest uh, blah blah car driver person. <laughs> he was so sweet, a nice older gentleman by the name of um, Juan. And um, he was originally going to drop me and the other person that was in the car with us off at the bus station but then he was like hey i can drop you off at your place and then you know he's like do you know where you're going and i was like no i don't have any wi-fi he's like oh use my phone and i used his phone and then we tried to use his gps and then we got lost and we went around in circles a few times and then we, he ended up dropping me off and like even helped me take my stuff to the building helped me look for the building and on the street where it where it was supposed to be and he was just the sweetest man ever. And it was really great talking to him. He let me sleep in his car because we were chatting in the beginning, but then he was like, oh, you look like you're a little tired. You want to take a nap? And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. And I slept for an hour. Um, so anyway, I, I got to my room that I booked through Airbnb. Um, and uh, it's a pretty simple room, I guess I'll show you. And I'm gonna take a nap because I'm gonna go out for a bit with the other guy that was also in the car with me. This guy from Senegal. I can't remember his name. Saliu? Something like that. Um, so I think we're gonna hang out later for a bit. But first I'm gonna take a nap because otherwise tomorrow I'm gonna have like even bigger bags under my eyes. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to show you guys some more stuff uh, later on this evening. Thank you. 